This is going to be the third video in the Java 8 examples I'm going to go over. And um, this is going to be reduce and the uh, map reduce filter part of this, uh, this little tutorial set. So reduce is essentially a function that takes a list of things and then boils them down to one value. Um, it's kind of uh, special because you can do stuff like averages with it. Um, so what we're going to do is calculate the sum of all of the quantities of all the products. So first I'm going to say, I'm just going to go over the background of where we're at. We've got product info, it's just a POJO, I've got a name, a UPC price quantity, uh, I've got a two string on it, I've got getters and setters. Quantity is an integer, that's what we're going to sum in our reduce. And um, I've got your product infos here that are created and then I'm putting them all into a list. So I create them in this array, I turn the array into a list, and then I throw it in this variable here. And just to show this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this as Java application and print it out. This is what's in that list, right? So, okay, that out of the way, we're gonna do some stream processing and then do the reduce. So I'm gonna say products dot stream. So I'm dropping into a stream and then Filter um, and map are kind of things you usually do before you do a uh, reduce. So what I'm actually going to do is do a map because what I need is all of the quantities in a list before I can do a reduce. I'm going to reduce on the quantity to sum them, but what I need is to map them all. And I'm going to say map, um, and this is going to be a special shorthand, not like the way I did in the old video where I wrote out a whole lambda function. This is a very special shorthand. I can say product info colon colon get quantity and then uh, Java is smart enough to figure out that I want to call this function on this class type because these products are all of this class type. So now at the end of this this map command so we can do this on this line and then we'll do the f uh, reduce on the next line I can say reduce and this takes two things. It takes a accumulator and then it's also going to take the actual reduce function. So the accumulator is going to be zero and then the reduce function that I'm going to do is going to be a comma b and these are just going to be integers and um, whoops and I'm going to do a lambda function here so you can see I'm going to return a plus b and what I'll get at the end of this is just an integer. So I'll say integer uh, sum equals that and then this is the whole thing uh, so let's print that out run this yeah and 50 so that should be 5 plus 10 plus 20 plus 15 and that is indeed 50 um, so what's going on here I've got this list I'm turning the list into a stream and then I'm mapping that into an array, or sorry, a stream of integers. So now this is an integer stream since those quantities are integers. And then I'm reducing that integer stream starting from zero and then I'm starting to add them together. Uh, and then I'm going to return that um, reduction as a single integer. So the way this reduce actually works here is it takes something to start with that I'm going to accumulate onto. So it's going to take an integer which happens to be zero here and then the other integers I'm gonna add so for the first iteration this is essentially a loop through a list of integers the first iteration it's gonna be zero plus um, uh, the first one in the item so the zero is gonna be the a and the B is gonna be the next one in the list and then on the next iteration a will be the sum of zero plus the last b and then the next this the current b will be the next item in the list so it'll eventually you'll add all of them up together you just have to give it an accumulator to start with so if we started with 10 here you'd end up with 60 um, not that it makes a lot of sense to do that you always you always probably want to accumulate from zero if you're doing a sum so Anyway, that's just a quick uh, tutorial on reduce in Java 8.